Today we're going to talk about uh, how to use uh, your iPad or iPod Touch become your iPhone camera's monitor remotely. Uh, we'll now talk about uh, the mirror your iPhone to another screen. The monitor side is supposed to do all the job, zoom, record, change the lens, flip lens back and forth, and also um, all the settings. Uh, in the market, there are so many mirror apps, but we're not talking about mirror, we talk about the remote control and the monitor. Uh, call uh, Filmic Pro and the Filmic Pro Remote, Movie Pro and the Movie Pro Remote. The first one, Filmic Pro, before they just one time payment, after they changed the subscriber, the app, the cost go up a lot. Today we talk about another one called Film Pro and the Film Pro Remote. It's not free, but um, I forgot it's a kind of reasonable price and uh, I can't afford. Um, there's two apps, you have to uh, buy them together. You cannot only just install the remote app. You have to get the Pro app plus remote app. Um, we do this uh, step by step. Step one on iPhone side. From App Store, download and install Movie Pro and the Movie Pro Remote app. Movie Pro and the Movie Pro, uh, Movie Pro Remote. They come in bundle. Download and install both Movie Pro and the Movie Pro remote. Step 2 on monitor side. From App Store, download and install Movie Remote app to your iPad or iPod Touch. This app. Step 3 on iPhone side. Turn on iPhone Hotspot. Step 4. A monitor side, connect Wi Fi to your iPhone's Hotspot. Okay, we check the connection. It's connected. Step 5. On iPhone side, open the Movie Pro. And go to Setup. Okay. Turn the remote control on. Set down. Step number six on the monitor side. We turn on the Movie Pro remote. And then go to Connect. And then we see iPhone. It's connecting. Okay, now we see um, the remote. Monitor side, got to over uh, take over the control. Okay, in this side we can do zoom, zoom out, and we select uh, lens. We can do record.
can do take picture. And also can do manual zoom. And also we can flip the lens. Hello. Okay, we can disconnect from a monitor side or from an iPhone side. Now disconnect iPhone, take over all the control. Our remote monitor side just stop there. Connect again, just hit connect. Hit iPhone again, it's connecting. It's back. Okay, in this demo, I'm using iPhone 13 Pro with uh, iOS 16.0.2. And on the monitor side, I'm using iPod Touch 7 with iOS 12.5.6. Uh, hopefully this video helped you and thank you for watching. See you next time.